Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Kong and I am a children's book author and illustrator and I would love to welcome you to my studio. I'm also a big time cat lover and I had the most wonderful experience and opportunity working with Candlewick illustrating Leslie Newman's words for our upcoming four books. One, one, two, three cats and ABC cats coming out spring um, 2021. So I can't wait for these to come out in actual book form. These are what we call proofs. Um, uh, so samples of what it will look like when it's printed out. So it's very exciting. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you around my studio first. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of my progress work and uh, how I created these illustrations. So I guess we'll start by entering my studio. Got little figurines over here. These grow in the night. And I see it, my amazing collection of picture books. I call that research. And over here are my amazing and adorable studio mates. This is Ori. <laughs> and this one's Fuzzball. I named her after one of my books. And here I have my flat files. These are really flat drawers that have a lot of my artwork in there and they're a great way to store it and I love this so much. And here you can find all the original artwork that I've created for these two board books. I'll show you more in a bit. And then I got my art supplies, as organized I can make it, a lot of sketchbooks, um, I also have a tripod here. That's what I used earlier to hold up my camera. And this is my drafting table. It's usually tilt, uh, tilted on a slant so I can paint um, without hurting my back too much. And it really helps with the painting. And of course, here is my laptop and computer. I am currently editing some of my um, progress work. I'll, I recorded myself painting uh, a few times um, over the years while I was creating it. So I'm going to put some of that video together for you. Um, and so you can see how I painted exactly. And then of course I have amazing large Cintiq that will help me do my artwork. Um, I do paint mostly in traditional materials using ink and watercolor, uh, but I often uh, scan it in and use Photoshop and other materials to piece them all together because sometimes you just need uh, faster tools. And yeah, that is my studio. And there's me. Hello. All right. Are you all ready to see some more artwork? All right. So this, as I was sharing earlier, are called uh, proofs or samples from the printer. Um, so we can know what it actually looks like uh, when it's printed out versus from a screen. So imagine this with me. This is the front cover, right? And then this will be the spine and this will be the back cover. And you can imagine all the different pages inside in between. So this is what it's going to look like. I can't wait. It looks beautiful already. Uh, and this is my original artwork. So all of the kitties are painted with Sumi ink and they are all in black and white and gray. The reason why I did that is so I can really, really focus on the fur pattern and textures I have on each kitty. And I also like to paint bigger than um, the original size because look how tiny this is. I will have to use a very, very tiny brush and that wouldn't give me the most control or comfort. So I like to paint bigger than it is. And um, all the letters and all the alphabets are done in watercolor too. So um, that uh, so that's a little bit different than the kitties. I I really like to pinpoint the colors on that. Um, and also different watercolors can create lots of different textures. And as you can see here, I painted them all on separate different sheets of paper, uh, mainly because it's a little bit too hard uh, to paint when I'm. Um, trying to uh, manipulate a big sheet of paper and I probably don't have all the room for it. So that's why I paint it in separate sheets of paper. And also, you know, if I mess up on one of them, and I can always just repaint this one area instead of the whole piece, right? And this is the one, two, three cats cover. Will you imagine that again? Um, anyways, and this is because they're all separate and none of them are connected. I was able to paint them each on their own sheet of paper um, and really, really have fun and experiment and play, paint with that too. And look, 
Again, see how tiny the, uh, the final uh, little kitten will be when it's printed? I can't paint that small. I have to paint it a little bit bigger. All right, you ready to see more? Okay, I'm gonna show you some interior pages now. So water, a traditional medium with watercolor and ink and what I do uh, is sometimes very unpredictable. They kind of have a mind of their own and you have to really, uh, like I like to call it, I'm manipulating or pushing paint around. Um, so, and another thing is with traditional medium too, uh, you can get different results from different kinds of paper. So these are both watercolor paper, but you see here, there's a lot of tooth and a lot of texture over here. This is called a cold press and this is called a hot press. So so for ABC cats, I actually did two different versions for every single cat and I picked and choose some of the areas that I like better. Like for this area, I like overall the face and these uh, the, the, the hair over here, but then I liked um, over here maybe uh, this side a little bit better than that side. So I combine my favorite parts digitally and then that is the final result you'll see. Like here. All right. So let me share with you two more examples from ABC Cats before I move on to showing you some original artwork from 123 Cats. So ABC Cats, um, I picked two. They're, it's so hard to pick because I have so many favorites, but um, R is one of them. And as you can see here, from just the alphabet itself from using watercolor, the same exact color and same exact mixture from the two different sheets of paper, you can create very different results and textures. This one has a lot more dot looking texture and this one is a little smoother, right? Um, so I was very interested to see which one ends up being which and uh, having the choice uh, at the end. And then look at the kitty's tail, for example. You can see a lot sharper edges and um, each individual fur, uh, right? But then over here, it is so soft and I love that texture too. So, uh, uh, but then I really like the the little watermarks in between. So how to choose, right? Uh, but you won't really know until you paint it. So that's why I do two versions of every kitty. Um, and then last but not least, Z, Zany Cat. And Zany Cat, uh, same thing, um, very different textures just with the alphabet alone. And then the fur over here, it really dried, very fun. I love how it all spreads like that. These are something you can't really control. You, you, you know how to get certain effects like that, but you really have to let the paint do its thing. And I really love how that arm here worked versus this one. So um, as I was saying earlier, I pick those parts that I love the most, scan it in and uh, put them together digitally. All right, let's see one, two, three cats now. now. While I didn't paint as many versions for the illustrations in one, two, three cats, I gotta admit it was a lot more challenging than painting ABC cats. ABC cats, I was able to experiment a little bit more and play a little bit more without worrying about repeating each cat because each cat is unique and fun and different. Um, but for one, two, three cat, for example, cat number one shows up on every single page and I need to make sure she looks like cat number one. And also towards the end of the book, all 12 kitties show up on the same page and I need to paint this big painting of all the cats. And of course they all have to make sure they look like the cat that I designed them to be and um, I can't make any mistakes or not, I have to start all over again. Uh, so this book was a lot more difficult to paint, but I still had a lot of fun. It was a great challenge. And after scanning it in and coloring it digitally, here's a sneak peek. This is the final look of it. Um, I love this spread. This is my favorite spread. As challenging as it is, it created an amazing result and I am very happy with it. Um, but it's not all as complicated as this illustration. Uh, the cat number four, introducing this one, is a lot easier. There's only four cats on the page. And of course, after coloring it, this is the final result. 
Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching and I can't wait for everybody to get their copies when ABC Cats and 123 Cats come out next spring 2021, I believe in May. Um, it is written by the wonderful Leslie Newman and illustrated by me. I'll see you next spring. Bye.